Navarro. Yeah, last time I um, already introduced Web Labs, or already talked about Web Labs, um, the Web Labs project here at the Enoch M2. And I just want to give you a quick update um, what the latest, greatest, you know, content is on Web Labs. Um, this is just a quick um, screenshot of the current website. We're actually releasing a new version one of these days, today or tomorrow, so some small things will change on the side. Um, so for those of you who haven't heard of Ripe Labs, um, there still are people that haven't heard of Ripe Labs, I know. And it's a website maintained by the Ripe NCC, uh, but it's open to the community. It's pretty much a community platform to discuss new ideas, prototypes, analysis, measurements, statistics. The Ripe NCC is using it quite actively to provide um, yeah, new tools we're developing, prototypes, new measurements we're doing. Um, to present them early on in the development stages to our members and to the community at large, and also to get feedback about these new ideas and projects we are working on. But on the other hand, it's also open for you to put on anything you're working on, any ideas, research projects. I'm just thinking, for instance, about the um, security research project, if that could potentially be something you know, we could put on labs and then get feedback that way. Um, there's a lot of new content, you know, every, every week, every month. Um, a lot of V4, V6 measurements, obviously. Also a lot of routing analysis um, by other people and new tools. And I just want to, today, I just want to focus on um, two of these new tools. And I, I'm sure some of you have heard already about um, RipeStat, for instance. We just recently published um, a mobile app for RipeStat. It's a tool that we provide, um, it's still prototype, it's not really um, production service yet, it's a little slow at some, sometimes, and, um, but the idea is to really provide a graphical interface um, to all kinds of data. So have like one, one place for all this data, routing data, um, blacklists, um, historic data, IP data, geolocation, and have it all in one interface so you can find out everything you always wanted to know about one particular um, IP address OIS number, and um, that's how it looks like. And we have like monthly um, demo sessions so people can keep track of the improvements and changes, and, and all the announcements, all the minutes, all the new developments. They're all published on Web Labs. Uh, this is the, the URL that's on that slide. Is the direct link to that tool. And Ripe Atlas is the other thing that's fairly new. We, um, we started handing them out at um, a few, a couple of Ripe meetings ago. It's these little probes that you see there on the slide um, that do measurements. So we basically hand them out for free and we, um, we plug them in um, at home or in the office or has USB on one side for power and Ethernet on the other side. And we are, so the aim is to really distribute thousands and thousands of these measurement nodes so that we collect a lot of data and um, can make analysis um, with the help of all the data collected in, through that infrastructure. And so basically build one huge infrastructure, measurements infrastructure, where over time we can um, um, do a lot of traffic analysis and things like that. And all the information about that, all the maps, all the new developments, that's all. Um, you can also follow that on web on labs.web.net slash atlas. Um, just some idea how this currently looks like. Um, on the top, the map shows all the probes, all the active probes. You can go on the website and actually see how many probes there are, how many are active. And we're currently struggling with one problem. We have already spoke to some of you about this. Is we, um, there's quite a discrepancy between the number of probes we hand out and the number of probes that actually go online. So there's either delay or people are hesitant to plug them in, or there are some other problems that we're trying to figure out at the moment what that is and how we can help you to really deploy those um, probes. The map on the bottom shows the light of um, in Europe, like the, the map of light in Europe, and that's kind of the goal where we want to go. Everywhere where there's lots of light, we also um, well, assume there's also lots of internet traffic, and um, so that's where we want to have um, the biggest density of this Atlas network. And we're kind of getting there over time. Another big thing that um, was presented on labs recently was everything had to do with the World IPv6 Day. 
um, we did a lot of measurements before, during, and after um, the World V6 Day, and we still are analyzing data that we collected around that day in June. And here are just some snippets, some graphs that we published in the meantime. We're still doing some long-term um, monitoring and to, to an analyze some long-term effects. We've just, um, we also looked on the day, like what happened, who switched on IPv6, when, did they switch it off again? And so you can see all these measurements on web labs. And I think that's pretty much all I wanted to say. Just as a summary, um, why did we start this? Basically to have, um, to provide a platform for community members to discuss um, new ideas and new projects and also to um, have a, a closer communication channel with our membership and with the community to provide um, ideas and projects early on in the development stages rather than developing it first behind closed doors and then maybe finding out later that's not exactly what you wanted. Um, so that was one big, um, big motivation for that to be more open and transparent about what we're actually currently working on. Um, that's it, I think. So take a look, participate. Let us know if you have any suggestions. Talk to me. Kann auch in Deutsch. Okay. Gut, vielen Dank. I guess we don't have time for questions.